All right, so welcome to what I think is going to be the final episode of The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. This is it. We're going to Bastion to get the regulator pump and the body, and this is going to be it. This is going to be the finale of the series, I think. This is going to be it for us. So, let's just make sure we have everything we need. So we shouldn't make a Negan bat. Yup. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, let's go. I hope you guys have been enjoying the series. I think it's coming to a close here. Uh, in this episode. So, I hope you all are ready for the big finale. Because this is it. This is gonna- This episode's gonna be like an hour long. So I hope you all are ready. So let's go, Bastion. Scariest place in The Walking Dead, and you're gonna see why when we get there. Kid decapitate walkers. Decapitation consumes less stamina than braining. So I'm actually recording this video right after the previous one, and here we are, Bastion. This place is creepy as all hell. Why? It's raining, it's a dark out, and it's a thunderstorm. So we have to find the pump regulator and the body, so it's gonna be right over that way, uh, through Walnut Ave, and then we're gonna have to cut around and all that crap. But anyway, let's, uh, let's get her done. Last episode, we upgraded the backpack, so now we have two slots for guns and stuff like that, which is really cool. Yep. Hope you guys are doing good while watching this episode. Hope you guys have been enjoying the series. Let's go in. Okay. Upstairs, upstairs. It's quiet in here. It is too quiet. you would, of course, but J my patience B. was beginning to be tested. <laughs> Let's start with a formal introduction. You are the tourist, and I am John baptiste JB for short. John Better. Baptiste. We can proceed to matters of more profound consequence. It is my understanding that this gizmo here would be of use to you. It's all yours. Consider it a gift. And when we are finished with our conversation, I will provide you with the missing dial that you'll need to operate it. Sound fair? Well, I got one thing to say to you, John Baptiste. You've got balls of steel for meeting me in flesh. Because I have genocided half of New Orleans just to get to the reserve alone. So yeah, uh, keep it brief. Keep it brief. I'm busy. I won't take much of your time. You have my word. We all, all right. have business to attend to. Now, I prefer to play it straight. Once right. I received word that you were collecting these devices, and to what purpose, I saw an opportunity to the most illustrious survivor, so I made it a priority to acquire one through... And now here you are. It is you will see the reserve. Nothing more than a cr people of this fine city go on 
You are one cocky bastard. A cocky bastard, JB. Not cocky, convicted. But uh, I also know okay. how to humble myself when dealing with someone as formidable as you. So my apologies if my demeanor seems brash. I'm a man of particular predilections. Uh, say your Don't piece. worry about it. Say what you... I am a firm believer in the greatness of humankind. Our ingenuity, our art, our towering scientific achievements. This reserve nonsense, even if the rumors about what may be inside it, the bounty will only prolong our addiction to... It will stifle luck now. This and when you unearth it, which I have... These four numbers will disable the entire Mother Nature. We'll rage through the reserve and take care of the rest. Hmm. One, zero, zero, six. Flood the reserve and set us all free. Give this still glorious city the jumpstart it needs to refocus on something much grander than mere survival. Grant us hope, tourist, and thank you. Most sincerely for hearing me out. Hmm. And let's keep this chat between. I'm not sure my picture benefits of removing the reserve, my friend. Anything on your mind? The reserve, the reclaim. I'm curious about the reclaim. Yeah. Yes? Reclaimed origin, reclaimed rituals. Yeah, what is your rituals? Your rituals are real. Like that guy. That guy's hung up upside down a lot like Henri. When I found him in the graveyard. What's with the gory rituals? First one was a man I knew well in my brief tenure as a tower grunt. I'd even called him a friend. Trip was his name. Snuck up on me in the middle of sleep. Tried to slit my throat. Still carry the scar. We had a long story short. Trip was no match for you me. You actually? I mean, uh, I can't see it. Something awful, really. And I dragged his body about a mile all the way to the southern bump which at the time was the most highly trafficked exit from the tower. I found an old oak, hung him upside down from it so his lifeblood would spill rapidly into the soil. And upon his chest, I pinned a note that read, Keep him coming. And just like that, I became the most feared boogeyman. No Once I had fear on my souls with nowhere else to go, I empowered him. A sense... I have some other questions. Uh, nothing I've heard else. enough. Fair enough. Then we are finished here. The Dow, as promised. Godspeed, tourist. Can I put your friend here out of misery? Also, this is the mother effer who killed Henri. He put killed. Away, please. Sorry, sorry. Let me just. Kill your friend. Ugh. But he's the mother trucker who killed Henri. So that's interesting. Am I mad at him for killing Henri? Yeah, but I don't know. I'd like to see where the politics of this world goes. Would I kill him? I don't know, maybe. All right. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. It's the goddamn tower. Uh, hey, fellas. Meet, tourist. After all the hype, you're not exactly what I expected. Thought you'd be more put together, a bit more danger to your presence. Sorry, Sorry to disappoint, disappoint you. Lady. Good thing I'm not too concerned about You should be, fool. Your life may depend on I'm Georgia. Maybe you heard of me, maybe not. I could give two shits. What does concern me is the man inside. The time has come to silence him. One cut off the head that won't shut up. Rest of the recl Then us tower folk can get back to doing. Oh, shit, I just left. From what I know about JB, it may take more than you and a couple of goons to take him down. You a real smart ass tourist. Especially when I've snipped the tongues out of that. But I'm willing to give you a pass on your smart ass ways. Just this once. I'm gonna offer you an opportunity to be a hero. Outpost Sorry, Georgia. Control. Yep. <sighs> Let me up 
like a goddamn. Come here, you tower dummies. That's right. All of you stay dead. New Orleans is my city. Now, to brain you to make sure you all don't come back as rotten rectums. Georgia. Poor, poor Georgia. Let me just cut your head off. Actually, no. That's too good for you. I need to make sure you don't come back as a zombie. Told you all this was my city. My dear Georgia, we have gone too far. Uh. This has to stop. We are not cruel. No matter what our community is facing right now, we have to remember our promise to the people. I understand the need to pivot when faced with a crisis, Georgia. Those responsible for the atrocities that led to the disease were brought to justice. We have to put the lessons we learned from all that dick business behind us. When I first learned that those animals were serving human flesh to our most desperate, simply to meet hunting quarters, I was enraged. But as difficult, I had to try ABR, but we cannot allow. We must help. I have been... And if you're wondering, Georgia is not the leader of the tower. Mama is. But my, you need to, you know, have I ever? Well, Casey, it's time. Massive gunfight going on. It stopped. Did they kill him? I don't know. Well, we're going back. Again, this is the finale, so this is going to be a pretty long episode. <sighs> I haven't had anything to eat today. Ugh. Okay, let's go. This is it. Setting up for war. Boom. Alright. Now what? Speak to Casey. Okay, how much I have left? Not a lot. Alright, I think I'll end this episode here. This actually is in the finale. But, uh, I'll see you guys in the final episode of The Walking Dead, which will be the next one. Have a good one.